the economy and the soaring inflation. The latest read from the Consumer Price Index showing inflation jumped 9.1% over the past year, the fastest pace in four decades. Inflation also up about 1.3% month over month. ABC News business correspondent Alexis Christophorus here for more. All right, Alexis, let's talk about why prices are still going up and where are we getting the hit the hardest right now? Well, you know what? Take your pick, Kira, because uh, inflation is running rampant. It is broad based and you are hard pressed to find any relief in this report. Again, it's the same situation, supply chain issues, the war in Ukraine continuing to put upward pressure on prices, as is strong consumer demand. You know, the consumer continues to be uh, very much out there and spending, if not on goods so much, then on services like travel. And here's a little breakdown we put together for you to show you what this means for our pocketbook. So gas prices alone up more than 11% in June versus the prior month. Food up 1%. Rent, which by the way, makes up about a third of this overall index, up more than half a percent. And used car prices, which were starting to come down, bounced back up again last month, up 1.6%. Economists were also surprised to see apparel prices uh, moving higher, and they're up about 1% uh, month over month. So uh, still lots of Americans feeling uh, pain at the pump and elsewhere right now, Kira. Yeah, no doubt. And President Biden is calling the June inflation rate unacceptably high and that this report is out of date. True? Uh, out of date, at, at least when it re refers to gas prices, because remember in June, we had gas prices above $5 a gallon. That was a record high. And this number today reflects those gas prices. Since then, prices at the pump have come down, not by a lot, but you know what, we'll take it. And now the average for a gallon of regular in this country is around 463. We're gonna see that number reflected in next month's report when it takes a closer look at July. Okay, and then the Fed clearly walking a tightrope here, right? Trying to avoid triggering a recession while dialing back prices. The question, though, is, is it working? Right, that's the question. And I'll tell you, some economists I've talked to believe we're already in a recession. Uh, you know, they're looking at raising interest rates one more time here in July. In two weeks, we're going to get the next Fed meeting. We're looking at another three-quarter of a percentage rise there. But now, after today's report coming in hotter than expected on inflation, many economists are betting we're going to see another three quarters of a percentage point rise in rates come their September meeting. And they have two meetings after that, November and December. We know the Fed is very uh, data driven. So they'll be looking at these uh, these numbers, these inflation numbers and the job numbers very closely between now and the end of the year. All right, let's take a look at the big board, shall we? The Dow is down about 10 points right now. So what do you make of the market reaction so far as we follow the numbers? I think the market's trying to figure it all out, Kira, as we are. You know, initially when this report came out, uh, the stock market took a big tumble. We were down triple digits on the Dow. They've had sort of the day to figure it out. And I think they realize inflation is going to be with us for quite some time. The Fed is on the case to the extent that it can be. And they're just kind of riding it out. You know, the big question mark for the market is what is this all going to mean for earnings and uh, so far economists are starting to ratchet down those expectations because inflation not only hitting us but hitting companies in the pocket as well all right interest rates how does this all fold into the future of that i can't believe i actually had a friend close on a house this past week and i cannot believe the interest rate that she locked into yeah, you know, mortgage rates have about doubled since January, uh, making your monthly payment for a home a lot more expensive. In, in some instances, more than $500 more than it would have cost you just six or seven months ago. And it looks like those rates are going to continue to trend higher. The Fed is going to be aggressive in its fight against inflation. They've told us as much, and we have at least let's see, January, no, July, September, November, December, four more Fed meetings. If they move at each one of those, rates are going to continue to go up, Kira. What about gas prices? Do you think we've peaked? I wish I could say yes. Uh, we are getting some relief now, but we're smack in the middle of a uh, driving season, which means demand is going to continue to be high at least for the next few months, and that's going to drive up prices. All right, Alexis, we'll keep talking. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.